So I got one of those little cheap $10 induction heaters. They're like the mini 120 watt ones. Got one online and they're supposedly supposed to get metal red hot, but mine, just one of the MOSFETs on it exploded. So I'm going to try and fix that today. So this uh, induction heater uses a ZVS driver that stands for zero voltage switching, which uses two MOSFETs, some diodes, some resistors, some capacitors to make the tank oscillator circuit so you can have the induction fields going through the coil, whatever. So what my plan is to do is to get that little induction module now there's two little MOSFETs right here. Those are the ones that went that blue. So I pulled them off and now there's three leads for each one. So what I want to do is I want to put my own bigger MOSFETs here on each one. But on the bottom there's two capacitors and those capacitors make the tank circuit. I'm going to put two more on. Two more capacitors on there. So they should be less number of kilohertz, so they should be uh, more heat coming from the middle. Yes, above 20 kilohertz is best, but below 100 kilohertz, in between 20 and 100 kilohertz is best. Okay, here it is. It's finished. Now, I calculated the um, output wattage. Earl earlier I said that the normal version is 120 watts output through the coil. This one should be 340 watts because I have some IRL 3705s. Now those aren't a very well known transistor, but they're like they they work. They work great. They don't get too hot when I power it on. Now I did accidentally rip off the the drain on both transistors, but remember I just connected it to where the coil goes and then it just goes from here to there. So Great. Let's try it out. So I'm going to measure how many hertz is coming out of this thing. Now it should be like 20 to 100 kilohertz, which is the recommended range, but it might be a little bit higher because there's only four capacitors on it. And it would probably be even higher if I didn't add the more capacitors. And this is a 13.8 a volt 15 amp power supply. Okay. We're on. We're on. The blue light is on. Okay, let's turn on this. And it's on. What do we have? 136.7 kilohertz. Okay. Wow. Oh, the coil's hot. So much current going through there. But it's not as hot as that bolt will be when we put it in there. I'm going to cool off the coil with some water. I've gotten this thing hot, red hot. It took a while. I want to do this thinner one. It has some little bit of drywall on it. If you can see that there. So I'm going to try to burn it off. And I'm going to try to get you an even better view. There. That's probably way better. Okay, here we go. We're smoking. We're sizzling. And this is real time. Let's see. Oh, we're glowing. See that? We're glowing. We're glowing. Wow. It works. Yeah, it works great. What is that sound? Or are things clicking in my room? Okay, I found the reason why things are clicking in my room. So, one of the capacitors was getting loose. Or actually two of them. I had soldered each one together. And one of the solder joints came off. <laughs> I 
Okay, it's done. Finally. Okay. Now, it's time to screw everything back on. Okay, it's finished. Okay, it's on. Let's see if we can heat up this thing. Okay. Okay. Whoa, sizzling. Take a look at that. It's red hot. Oh. Yes, you saw how powerful that induction heater is. And it's great. See you next time.